Up next, part two of my interview with best-selling author Tuvia Tenenbaum about his new book, Catch the Jew. With a title like that, you don't want to miss it. Stick around. And welcome back. Well, on a recent episode of The Watchmen, we featured part one of my interview with Tuvia Tenenbaum, author of a new book called Catch the Jew that is a top seller in Israel. In part two of our interview, Tuvia expands on how the UN and the so-called international community are undermining Israel at every turn. Take a look. UN, UNRWA. You know, UNRWA is UNRWA, the UN, UNRWA, yeah, the, the, yeah. UN, the UN agency for Palestinian yes, refugees, whatever. Yes. They tell, they teach Palestinians that the occupation did not start in 1967, but in 1948. This is the UN. This is the UN. American taxpayer dollars, by oh, the way. Of course, American funding taxpayer dollars. Yeah, doesn't oh, matter. Yeah, doesn't sure. matter. And it shows the ridiculousness even of America, like agencies like USAID, that you will never read about what the Americans are doing there. The For example, there is a village of five houses, little houses. At the entrance to the village, there is a road, six lane road, to this village. I asked the Arabs, why do we have six lanes? So all these Americans, they like to build <laughs> big roads. Total waste of money. First of all, it's amazing how you were able to secure these interviews. That, that's, a, that's a whole other story for another show, how you were able to get in, get these interviews, and get these people to talk to you. But number two, Tuvia, we can't, we can't go without discussing uh, the Muslim Palestinian aspect of the book where you have people who are saying the temple never existed. Of course. Of the course. total denial of, of any Jewish presence and talking, and in talking, the Jewish homeland. And you're talking about leaders who are... The other thing in the book, it's not just European, it's also infiltrated into the elite and the government officials of, of the PLO. Yeah, this is and government the, the officials that you're sitting Government with. officials, you know, and some of them, like Jibril Rajub, yeah. you know, was the spy master and still of Palestine. Yeah. And what's interesting about him is that he did not catch the time Jewish. The spy master. Yeah. <laughs> this was amazing. The spy master. <laughs> the spy master of Palestine. <laughs> you know, but, but he's <laughs> very smart. <laughs> Extremely yeah. smart. I mean, the reason why I didn't catch it because, you know, I did come from Germany. Sure. And I speak Arabic. Sure. You know, so. Okay. And my oh, English nice. accent is not an American English accent. Right. So, it's all confused. Sure. And, and it's, it's all based on trust over there. Yeah. So, what is interesting, and, and he is the Israelis, Jibril Khachouf, gave him a Hebrew name. You know, <laughs> because he thought he's like so close to us. Yeah. They call him, instead of Jibril, they call him Gabi. Ga for oh, example. Wow. You know, and still, yeah. you know. And he said to me, once he trusted me, that if Hitler came out of his grave and looked at the Jews, he would be shocked. Because even Hitler didn't know how bad the Jews are. Wow. This is what you're talking about the, the most moderate. These are but Israel's partner for peace, this is according for peace. to but the But guess Obama what? Measure? But guess what? Well, sometimes when I talk to them, I give you an example. I went to and you to gain their trust. To, yeah, That's I went to an Arab village. They opened up to yeah, you. Yeah, I went to an Arab village, like in you know, a Bedouin village or whatever, yeah. <coughs> and and you see that Aziz, you know, the Muslim guy, and he yeah. sings the songs in English. It's in the desert. He sings the song in English, and he sings about the Jews who who, who destroyed the village and took and unplanted the trees, you know, yeah. fell the trees, you know. And I'm going to mean, Aziz, you hardly speak English. Since when are you so good in uh, composing English music yeah. and English words? And by the way, Aziz, I say to him, we are in the desert. <laughs> there was no trees here, there are no trees here now, there was never trees there before. Why are you singing about the Jews, you know? Yeah. You, we implanted our trees and the Jews took them away. What, what, what are you talking about, Aziz? So he admits, you know what, I didn't compose it. It's not my words. The Europeans came and they taught us this song and we sing it. <laughs> so even that anti-Semitism, which is very strong in the Muslim world, of course, oh, no of doubt, course. they learned it from the Europeans and some Americans too. To be, I, I and mean. that's what's scary. It, it's scary. It's funny. One of the reviewers of the book said it, it's completely, it's hilarious, but completely disturbing. <laughs> it's a great. It, but we must know this. Oh, yes, you must know this. Yes. In, on a serious note, you know. we must know it. Tuvia, I think you've done such an important and valuable work, my friend. 
Thank, thank you, you for writing the book. Thank you for coming thank on. Thank you very much, Eric. The book is called Catch the Jew. Yeah. And the, the name of the book, bomb. by the way, came after the, after the event. Yeah. When, when I tried to sum up everything that I saw here, I saw almost a world conspiracy, I'll talk, call it, because I don't like the world conspiracy. For one thing, they've come from the four corners of the earth. Christians and atheists, sorry. For one purpose. To catch the Jew doing something wrong. Yes. And that's why it's called Catch the Jew. Well, Because that's the agenda. It is. It's evil. And it's frightening. Uh, it, it's, it's frightening. But you know what? Uh, thank God we have people like you out there sounding the alarm. We'll continue to sound and the alarm. And people like you, Harry. Yeah. Hey, two of you, thank you so much, my thank friend. Thank you so much. And just a note here, there is some salty language in Tuvia's book, Catch the Jew. So if you're sensitive, it may not be for you. But I personally think it's too important to ignore.